ninjas. <laughs> Living my best life. I ain't going back for cute ninjas. Ninjas. <laughs> oh. Once again, I'm down in Outer Banks. This weekend will be um, an event going on at the Frisco Native American Museum. It's Saturday and Sunday. Um, they're going to have different guests there. There's one dance group that is um, Hawaiian inspired. There's a Hawaiian indigenous dance group that's going to be there. A few other people are going to be there um, doing workshops and I'm going to be participating, helping Mr. with some of the language, Algonquian language. Um, I've been learning a little here and there the past six, seven months now. So I'm going to help Mr. Um, Gray Michael Parsons, to be exact, helping him with um, his part in the uh, festival. directions we're doing um, uh, animals like hawk uh, eagle vulture uh, turtle and I don't even know half of these words but I'm learning um, let's see what else he he created a couple of songs with Algonquian words in it um, the Lenape dialect of Algonquian and he's mixing it with the Renape as well some words that he learned years ago so he has a song that he's going to sing with his drum oh also there's going to be um, a drum group as well and there's going to be an MC so on exterior it kind of seems like it's going to be a powwow but it's not it's more like a it's more like a, a festival kind of thing a, a learning festival more so than a powwow um so we're gonna have we're gonna have decent weather i think it's supposed to be uh in the upper 70s or low 80s uh on sun on saturday this is a two-day event so saturday is supposed to be cloudy and sunday is supposed to be i guess mostly sunny neither days are going to be rain tomorrow is supposed to be storming i guess late afternoon 
which is fine because the event doesn't start until this weekend so whatever but yeah today is absolutely beautiful i'm taking it all in Keith Shalamin, Wanishi, God, Creator. Oh, and also, I wanted to mix things up this time. Coming down here. Um, and so I wanted to kind of explore different areas of the Outer Banks that I want to partake in or participate in is what pertaining to um, indigenous populations there and Europeans, whatever. But there were also a colony of um, African-American people who were once slaves, so they had a colony there as well. Um, there is a historical uh, marker in Hatteras, which is right behind the, um, the shipyard gravesite. So they have a marker there. That's the they call it the Afric Afric um, Hotel. Now, as of right now, as of today, there is no physical location of that hotel that was called Afric Hotel because it was uh, once the water didn't flood it out, but now it's underwater. So there's no specific. Um, area in the water where we can go see because it's underwater. It's kind of like Atlantis, right? You have a city under the water. Where, well, the the Africa, Africa Hotel technically now the location is underwater, but they do have markers to um, at least acknowledge that that did exist um, on the East Coast in North Carolina. But the actual hotel was not necessarily located near the uh, shipyard gravesite, which is uh, Hatteras Island. The village right before you, right at the, um, they call it the uh, ferry. There's a ferry that will take you to Oak Oak Island, which um, is further south, North Carolina. But um, anyway, there's a marker there. I, I definitely want to see that. When you come down Route 12, when you're on the Outer Banks, you're gonna go across or um, through P, P Island. And P Island is where some of the African slaves took refuge. Right now, they have a bridge that's named after Richard Eldridge. He, um, he is um, a man of honor, African American as well. And just look him up, Elk. Elkbridge is his last name, Richard Elkbridge. Um, so they do have a new bridge that um, they named after, uh, yes, a black man. Um, so that's cool. Like I said, P Island is it's part of Cape Hatteras National Reserve or National um, um, Preservation or whatever, but it's not technically Hatteras. Because Hatteras, there's a village called Hatteras which is further south. But anyway, long story short, that is an area that I wanted to um, take a look at, which is not too far from where I am now, but it's about um, maybe 10 minute, maybe 10, 15 minute drive from here going south. So I wanna go down there, I'll probably take a couple of pictures. It's just, it's just a marker, it's just a marker. Um, also, there's a museum on Roanoke Island, which is not part of Outer Banks, but you know, it's significant, like I said, with that African-American colony where free uh, slaves, or people that once were slaves and were free or whatever, that's where they settled. There was a settlement there. Um, let's see. Also, there's, a couple of other areas that now I think the historical society underground railroad historical society and I may be butchering this so I'm not quite sure but um, 
they keep track of these historical locations and I think a lot of this, these locations that I'm telling you about which I'm just learning about actually was um, giving acknowledgement officially in, in that capacity um, maybe five or six years ago not not too long ago actually um, so long story short you got a lot of people down here vacationing living their best life or whatever but at the same time I feel like it's very important to pay homage to the people that were here first and also the people who were oppressed on this land that was either already here or they were put on ships involuntarily and brought to this country. So, and the people that I'm referring to are part of my ancestry and I'm very, very um, passionate about that and I want to I want to respect my genetics, my roots. My roots are not necessarily slavery per se, but there are parts of my ancestry that were in bondage. And I want to make sure that I pay attention to that. I acknowledge that. I ask that they walk um, in peace with their transition after this horrific life that they had to deal with, right? And I want to make sure that I never never forget that never forget your ancestry your people where they came from because you know what our ancestors walk with us our ancestors walk with us and we are obligated and it's an honor but we're obligated to acknowledge them to never forget them because i am my ancestors you are your ancestors so yes I'm living my best life, life at the moment, but guess what? I'm never going to forget where I come from, what blood runs through my veins. I'm going to give honor and I'm going to bring respect to my ancestors. I'm going to learn from them and I'm going to request that they continue to walk with me, right? I walk with my ancestors ten thousands of ten thousands of ten thousands of ancestors now all my ancestors were in bondage but you know what it's important to acknowledge all of them and even the ones i don't know the dna test didn't say 100 percent this or that but at the same time i still acknowledge them so long story short that's going to be another little thing that I'm going to look into um, finding, you know, exactly where these landmarks are because many of the landmarks, they honor the um, lifesavers because one thing about this coastal area, they have a long history of shipwrecks because of the shallow water. You have the sand dunes. So long story short, back in the day, many of the uh, pirates and, and, um, and, and captains of different ships coming to these shores, they didn't know nothing about those sand dunes. And when they hit them, they, you know, their ships would wreck. And so you had lifesavers that were close by that would see that and they would hop on their they would hop in their um, boats and they would row over to where their shipwreck is to save people so that caused lifesavers so you have um, um, different locations on the island this region that honor those lifesavers but guess what some of those lifesavers were black african-american lifesavers and just recently, I'm hearing more and more acknowledgement of that. So, that's part of my trip too, is to learn more about history that was smuffled, um, that was suppressed, and, and let them know that their, their lives, their struggle, their accomplishments were not done in vain. So that's all I have for now. Uh, Wanishi Tawanama, I just said thank you, family, and Algonquin.
thank you family for listening stay blessed be blessed think happy receive positive and just know that you have power within your spirit you have power within your spirit know it be it have a great day living my best life I ain't going back and forth with you ninjas bye